Every day, vintage shops receive new stock from a variety of sources. People drop off items, but they often buy goods from so-called rag dealers. The worry for the police is where the rag dealers are getting the clothes they sell to them. Recent investigations have revealed that some dealers are selling on stolen goods. We buy all our vintage stock from uh, second-hand suppliers in the USA. Rag dealers buy all the excess stock from, for example, Goodwill, and then sell it to people like myself. But it's not just vintage shops that are victims of these thieves. People donate garments to charity, which then either goes directly to a third world country, to other areas, or it goes to the charity shops. Sometimes it can affect the donations we're getting. My driver usually regularly brings 70, 80 bags in, and if he's had a bogus collector around, if he hasn't caught him in time, it can go down to 30, 40, and you're, you're averaging well, with quality clothing, you know, you could be losing £50 a bag, so... Okay. Vintage shops are businesses which aim to make profit from their sales, but charities rely heavily on donated items to help boost their income. When a bogus collector steals a bag from a doorstep, they're cutting the charity's funds. If you are to donate to charity, you should donate to charities themselves and to ensure that the clothes go to the right person. Marina Revilla, CBJ News, Nottingham.